Hi guys, this is a recording of the actual conversations I had with FINRA regarding the whistleblower office in which I whistleblowed Fidelity Investments for not paying 57 quadrillion to me and owing 285 quintillion. So listen to this conversation and you'll see how bewildered I was. I know I'm saying 27 billion is all I made. Uh, new information came out after May 24th. This is a conversation on May 24th, 2021 at 9.21 a.m. after the April 1st ombudsman letter was sent on Fidelity Investments. This is 33 minutes. 33 minutes. Just listen. Contacting FINRA's Office of the Whistleblower. Hi. Can I have your name, please? This is Dr. Jerry Bobolinski. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I'm having a little trouble hearing you. This is Dr. Avery Bobolinski. Dr. Avery, can you spell your last name? W O L I N S K Y. I go by Bo, B E A U. Okay, and can I have a telephone number to reach you at? 859-583-9016. 859-583-9016? Yes. Okay, give me just a second here. And what can I help you with today? Uh, in August 2003, before a 13-year investigation in the stocks I traded in, I traded on three stocks, FAMDLA, now FAMDLX, ASDAX, and ASAX, or ADAX. And okay, so, uh, sir, I, I'm going to need you to please slow down a bit because I, I have to take handwritten notes about everything you're saying. So, okay, so August 2003, you traded in which stocks? FAM. B L A. Okay. A S D A X. And what what company and A D A X in Fidelity Investments? Okay, so this was this was all Fidelity. Yes. Okay, what what companies were those stocks for? Let's start with the first one. Uh, I don't remember, but those were the okay. figures. And my okay, so EIN at Fidelity was 20111-9939. Okay, so what, what was the issue with these stocks? Uh, I made $27 billion in them, and they never paid me. You made $27 billion? Yes. Okay. Or about hundred thousand dollars, seventy seven thousand, seventy five thousand. So uh twenty seven billion with a B. Uh yeah, two and a half three. Twenty seven point six billion dollars. Okay. But Fidelity never paid you. Fidelity never paid you, no. Okay. And this was back in August of two thousand three? Yes. So May O on hundred and thirty three percent compounded. That, that's what my lifetime track record is. I could sue for 875, 875,000 compounded at 175% for 2017, but I have an impaired uh, Bitcoin trade from this trade. I was only able to purchase $8,600 of Bitcoins that are now worth one times 10 to the 25th. My $8,600 purchase of Bitcoins made 
one times 10 to the 25th off $8,600. And I would have been the richest person who would ever live if I had had this money there. So consider it an impaired trade in Bitcoin uh, in addition to this, then I was never paid $27.6 million. And they tried to reconcile that there's a SIBO trade that they cannot find. They could not find the short seller that entered the market the second the, the companies in this report went bankrupt. And so they created a float that was 27 times the size of the market in FAMBLA. And I bought their shares and sold them immediately at $29. I bought a point oh 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 one four eight eight six two nine five six three and sold the twenty nine dollars the next second. Okay, Mr. Wonky, let's let's take a step back. So when when was it that you attempted to buy this E six hundred dollars of Bitcoin? Uh that would have been in two thousand ten and two thousand nine. So you attempted to buy eighty six thousand dollars but it didn't go through? Uh it it did go through, it's just Mount Gox. It was purchased at Mount Gox, and Mount Gox has a trustee with that is paying out 0.23 coins. It's just sorry, it was purchased at where? It was purchased at an exchange called Mount Gox. Mount Gox. Can, can you spell that for me? M T G O X. T G O X. Yes. Okay, so in 2009 and 2010. You purchased eighty six hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin. Yes, at fifteen decimals and a tick. Point zero 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 fifteen zeros and one. Okay, hang on. I still haven't been paid out for those either. Okay, um, so this is separate from Fidelity. Now, you made a comment about how if this trade, if you had been paid out for this, you would be the richest individual, something along those lines? Yes. Yes, I would. And this is based solely on your Bitcoin? Yeah, they're mainly based solely on Bitcoin. But it's also based on trading. On trading, I have a $285 quintillion claim on the $27.5 billion. But the Bitcoin, okay. the way they are, is almost a quarter of a Google Plus, and maybe a Google Plus. In value. So Fidelity okay. is responsible for this. They are five-sevenths of the way guilty, and SIBO is five-sevenths of the way guilty. Either SIBO hid the trade from Fidelity in the reconciliation, or Fidelity wanted to not admit to the trade. Uh, either way, uh, I'm to be compensated for this trade that I made, and you can find it in Fidelity Investments, and the records of which, uh, if you do not find a sub penny trade in any of these stocks, uh, they're lying to you, and you can go to the SEC. I have notified the SEC and uh, FinCEN, as well as FIFIC. Okay. Hang on just a second, I'm taking notes here. So you've notified the SEC already? I uh, notified the SEC already, yes. When, when I that? have an ombudsman number. Well, when when was that? August or uh, uh, April first. April first, what year? This year. And you you mentioned you have a, a confirmation. An ombudsman number from the SEC. A what number? I'm sorry, you cut out. It's called an ombudsman number. It's called an ombudsman number. Okay, and what's the Is number? It? Let's 
202 Okay, let's go over that again. 202 uh, 1 One extra zero before the 5564. One extra, so four zeros and then 5564. Five, Yes. And that's your ombudsman number. Okay. Yes. What, what, what were you told by the SEC when you contacted them? Uh, I was just filling out my, my information about my report to them. That it was the same report. Hey, I made $27 billion in August 2003 and I've still never been paid, basically. Have you spoken to anyone at the SEC directly? Not directly. I have sent emails repeatedly and I haven't contacted them. I was hoping that you could on my behalf because I haven't tried to whistleblower status with them and I, you know, wanted to make sure that I received 105%. This claim is for the Nexial Investment Club. That's what the EIN is for, the 2011 no, Wait, sir, first, you made a comment just now and I, I, I want to clarify. Finra cannot do anything on your behalf. Our role at the Office of the Whistleblower is to investigate for potential violations of FINRA rules and federal security laws and take appropriate regulatory action. If you yeah. feel you are owed money by these firms, we can't act on your behalf to collect that. You either have to speak to an attorney about ways you can proceed or look into FINRA's arbitration process. But the Office of the Whistleblower cannot act on your behalf. Okay, well, if they acted at all, it would still be on my behalf. Uh, no, not technically. We, we well, I mean, you're the, you're the first person who's taken my phone calls, if that tells you anything. Sorry, can you repeat that? What was that? You're the first group at the government that took my phone call, and I've been trying to find a, a, an attorney I just have been unable to. Yeah. Um, I have another question. So this is conduct that you claim happened in 2003 where you made all this money. Um, why are you only reporting this now? Uh, because there was a 13-year investigation in the securities and there was talk that they would change their, the, the, the course of the trading uh, times. So who was, there was, who was doing this investigation? The SEC and then it became a CFCC investigation joint with the SEC. And so, so there was a 13-year investigation in these securities, and there was talk that they might reverse trading. Is that what you said? Right. They might. They might change the times when the cutoff started. Which they didn't. And so, in 2017, Fidelity Investments issued a reconciliation that was incorrect for this. So, if you can just get them to find this uh, 0.0001488625963 trade that's actually part of the reconciliation, we can settle this. Okay, well, what were the last four numbers of your account of Fidelity? Uh, I don't know it. You can go by their EIN, the EIN. So you, you don't know the last four numbers of your account? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, well, hang on. Let me break it. But, but you can give them the EIN, the 20111993. Sorry, okay, can you repeat your EIN? 20111993. Okay, uh, one more time, I'd like to go over the, uh, the ticker symbols that you mentioned. Um, yeah, very yeah, slowly and painfully. They've changed since they were taken off the exchange. Um, 
all of these were taken off the exchange? Yeah, the day I traded them, they were taken off the exchange, and that's why it's been complicated to try and pursue it legally. They were for bankruptcy fraud, but I made a ton of money in them trading with high frequency algorithms and the high frequency algorithms were taken away from me, uh, for which I want 40% of the market making revenues and fidelity investments because they stole the technology that I was using and uh, did not follow the TOS of the software. Right, let's, uh, let, let's focus on these ticker symbols. Uh, I, I want to go one letter at a time and okay. I... Are you familiar with, with the the kind of military? So if it's an E, tell me it's Echo. So yeah, I know exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's 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 start with the first one. Let's do that. F is in Foxtrot. A is in Alpha. Okay. A, A is in Alpha. So F-A-A is the first one. F-A-M-B-L-A. And that's one ticker symbol by itself. F-A-M-B-L-A. Yes. So, okay, there's that like A like Apple, like Apple, and hang on, M like uh, Mary, B like boy, L like lady, and A like Apple, Bamba? Yes. yes. So it's one ticker symbol. Yes, and it is now, it is now F-A-M-B-L-X. F-M-B, F-A-M-B-L-X? Yes. Okay. What's the second ticker symbol? A S T A X. D A X. Okay. A S D A X. And A D A X. A D A X is another one. Yeah, third one. Third, third. Right, can you repeat that? A D. What was it? A D A X. A D A X. Okay. Yeah. What's the next one? That's it. Bitcoins is the fourth one that I'm... Okay, so it's on. three ticker symbols and then the Bitcoins from yeah. 2009 or 2010. Yes. Okay, and you said you purchased Bitcoin through Mt. Gox. That's M-T-G-O-X. M-T-G-O-X, yes. Okay. I see. And, and 15, 15 zeros and a one. Okay, so let's focus on the Fidelity account. So when did you try to kind of cash out your, your account and what were you told? Oh, the, the, the very next day. The very next day. August 2003. Yeah. August 16, 2003, I believe is the date. August 16th, 2003, you tried to withdraw your funds, or tried to basically sell your securities and, and withdraw funds? Well, I had traded in them already, so I was just waiting for the trades to settle. Okay, so, okay. This was in a minute and a half of trading. This wasn't like I was, I mean, I spent three months coding and that's three weeks setting up. And then it did this, uh, these trades, and Fidelity was punitive in removing the capabilities of the software from doing this again. I saw you created. That's what happened to my money is that it was changed into coinage and sold. Yeah, and this one is suspects. So. You're talking about fidelity. You suspect that your money was turned into coinage and sold. Yes. For eight billion dollars to Bernie Madoff. Turned into coinage, okay. I suspect for, the bill, for eight billion, billion, billion for dollars billions of dollars and pennies and then sold for profit and meltdown. Okay, so one more time. You suspect your money was turned into coinage and sold for $8 billion to Bernie Madoff? $8 billion in profit to Bernie Madoff. Bernie 
Madoff had reported a $25 billion cash carry position prior to this report, and immediately after had a $45 billion cash carry. And that was okay. in, in, in the resiliency of when this was happening. He had a pay-for-play arrangement that meant he was entitled to my trade. Even though I've done the trade, I think it was a legal um, dispute. He is strong mad with my let's, trade. Let's go back to Fidelity for a second. So you said August 16, 2003, tried to withdraw your funds. What did the firm tell you? That they weren't settled or that the shares had not been delivered. The shares that I traded on SIBO had not been delivered, even though they were created by the SIBO trader. The SIBO trader has been found guilty of market manipulation, I believe. And even though I don't know his name, um, there, there's a trader at the SIBO who did not deliver the shares that he created uh, on my trade. Okay. Yeah, they were they were created on the Chicago Board of Options Exchange and they were not registered to the New York Stock Exchange. Which is what we found in the reconciliation is that they did not have a report of any trades with the New York Stock Exchange occurring at those prices because they occurred on Stevo and Fidelity Invested and sold them to me. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to repeat this to you. Please let me know if it's accurate. So you, you tried on August 16, 2003 to withdraw your funds. Fidelity told you that the trades were not settled and the shares from SIBO were not delivered. This is because an unknown trader, uh, whose name you cannot remember, at the SIBO did not deliver the shares he created and did not deliver them to the New York Stock Exchange. Correct. Okay, and so presumably after this occurred, uh, it went into a 13-year investigation, as you said, joint investigation between the SEC and the CFTC. Correct. And when when was that uh, resolution announced? Uh, it was around 2017. A reconciliation was offered. They offered 16,000, and that's egregious because they're missing the trade that initiated were offered, offered who was the reconciliation offered to the reconciliation was offered to the next investment club by fidelity investments to the what what's it what's the name of the investment club next seal investment club n-e-x-i-a-l the next seal n-e-x-i-a-l okay yeah and I'm presuming you were a member of the investment club? Yes, I was the general partner, and my parents and my brother were the other two uh, members, the parties, uh, parents and, and brother. Okay, so you were the general partner of Nexial, and then your parents and brother were also partners? Yes. And so all of these trades were not directly for your personal account, but rather an account, I'm assuming, for the next deal investment club? Correct. Okay. Was the Bitcoin account also for next deal, or was that you personally? That was me personally, but I'm pretty sure I could have convinced them to do at least 35% into Bitcoins. I would have done at least 35%. I know I wouldn't have done half, but I'm thinking 35% would have been my amount. Okay, so, okay, one more time, Mr. Avery. So, in 2017, do you remember a more specific date, but there was a reconciliation offered to the Next Deal Investment Club, but it was for 16000 Yes. Okay. Uh, do you remember a more specific date? May 29th, May, May of 2017. Okay. And who was it that offered you this reconciliation? Fidelity Investments. Fidelity, okay. But it was wrong. You, you can see that it was wrong. I just need you to find that trade from the SIBO and then figure out who stole it. 
But then it's the New York Stock Exchange selling it, earning shit when it's and now the investment is flying for Madoff, which the fact that I'm mentioning Madoff is just because I know he did these types of things in the back offices of numerous financial institutions, and I feel like my money was taken in some swap path and, uh, you know, just melted down for a profit. So, yeah, we can go ahead with your questions. Okay, right, so, 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 Mr. Avery, so, again, this reconciliation was offered in 2017. We're now four years later, 2021. Uh, what happened in between then and now? I've been trying to find legal representation, and it's been our... Why is that? That people have been putting me off for months and weeks at a time, and that that's where I'm at. I'm supposed to... Speak with Mega Weinstein, but uh, they haven't contacted me in, in three weeks, and uh, no, there's been no one willing to help me in the state on this problem. But basically, I went through a hypnosis session, is how this was found. Uh, um, hypnosis, I'm sorry? Yeah, I, I went under hypnosis to remember these uh, these events. Did you I not think, remember them without hypnosis? I would not have remembered them without hypnosis, no. Uh, okay, when when was this hypnosis? Uh, it's been in the last three years. I've been undergoing treatments for three years. And why why is that, may I ask? Uh, psychological counseling. Okay. Which I can understand why I had psychological problems is because I'm supposed to be worth billions of dollars and I'm not. Bitcoins I bought for eighty six hundred dollars. Um, 
uh, on the field. They, they were offering at a price. I, was, I saw two key zeros in the penalty, and I thought, well, yeah, that's... Hey, do, you, do, you have any, do you have any evidence of this, any statements? Any it, it's, it's, on, it's in my wire transfers in my bank. But that, is that the only evidence? Do you have any physical statements? I mean, it's it's a wire transfer in that says Bitcoin is on top. Well, do you have any other separate? I mean, that for me, that's the only record I have of it besides the division. Three point seven nine four six eight nine two septillion, which is e um, e nineteen. This is how many I was able to purchase for $8,629. What, what bank is this where you have the uh, wire transfer? It's either U.S. Bank or UMB Bank. I can't remember. It's U.S. Bank or UMB Bank in Kansas City, Missouri. I think it's U.S. Bank, Bank or what was the other one? UMB. In Kansas City, Missouri? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, what's the name of the institution where you're undergoing hypnosis treatments? Uh, the Mayo Clinic. Mayo Clinic. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are purely a regulator. We can't get your money back for you. We will determine if there have been violations of FINRA rules and security laws, particularly uh, on the part of Fidelity, who is a FINRA member firm. Um, but we can't act on their behalf. Uh, unfortunately, you would either have to continue to look for legal counsel, as you have been doing, okay. or look into the FINRA arbitration process. Uh, if you Google FINRA dispute resolution, you'll find a page on our website dedicated to that. And, and if you believe that the firm owes you money, you can enter into an arbitration process where you can kind of argue that and, and see uh, what would happen uh, in, in that scenario. But beyond that, I can't provide you with any more advice on how you can. Okay, so that's that. the arbitration section of FINRA. Uh, it's called FINRA dispute resolution. Is that is that FINRA.org slash FINRA dispute resolution? I don't know off the top of my head. I know if you if you run a Google search for FINRA dispute resolution, okay. uh -huh. um, it'll come up. It's the very first result. Okay. Well, uh, I tried to be a good uh, reporter to you, so uh, yeah, I'll probably look into that. Uh, yeah, thank you for providing the information. If we have any further questions, will we be able to reach out to you in the future? Okay. Um, oh, and, and at the same number you provided, right? It was 859 yes, that number. It was, okay. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much for this information, Mr. Avery. Uh, you have a great day. Bye. Right. Thank you, sir. Bye. So yeah, guys, uh, that's the issue. I made fifty-seven quadrillion dollars in the first three months of my career, and basically, I'm due two hundred eighty-five quintillion dollars and one times ten to the thirty-three in Bitcoin. Since we know what the price was paid of fifteen zeros at a tick. Point oh 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 one for bitcoins. Fifteen zeros on tick. Lowest price ever paid for Bitcoin August two thousand nine. I am trying to 
think if there's anything else I should say here. Uh, then no. Look for me to air another one of these conversations and hopefully we'll find out if Bo gets his 285 quintillion dollars and one times 10 to the 33 bitcoins. Got the FINRA note. And on December 21st, I will have more information to give you guys. Thank you for listening to my life story. I'm Amensa. Peace, Prometheus.